Hello and welcome everyone. Thank you so much for joining us today in painting our Fiesta night. Let's make sure we have all of our supplies ready to go. We'll need a little cup of water to wash off our brushes, paper towel to dry off, Our kit came wrapped in some paper, so that's going to be really good to put um, underneath your canvas as we paint so you don't get anything else painty. And we have our paint. So I scooped out a little bit of all of my colors onto this empty plate over here. So I have black and white, I have blue, green, yellow, orange, I have a darker yellow brown, purple, and pink. So I'm going to start um, with my biggest brush and we're going to start with our sky color. I'm going to take my big brush, I'm going to give it a little dip in the water, get things flowing. I'm going to tap on the paper so it's not all drippy. And I'm going to find my blue just by itself. Let's go right on in and we're going to fill in all of our sky. I'm going to paint around my margarita over here, right up to the edge of the table. I'm going to paint around the jalapeno. I'm going to fill in all the rest. You can paint around a little stick too if you want, but don't worry too much if it gets inside. We're going to paint right over that. Fill in all of your sky. this color on my brush I can also wrap it around wherever blue touches an edge wrap it around that edge and match it to the side so you can leave um, a space open for when we paint our table color we'll put that color in there we're gonna get all of our top edge and then same on this side wherever you have blue touching an edge We'll wrap it around to match. So I'm going to fill in my table color next. I'm going to keep using my big brush. Um, you can definitely use that medium brush if you need as we go along. There's some kind of a little bit trickier spots um, as we go. So if you need it, use those smaller brushes. But um, my big brush is nice and smooth, so that's going to be better on the bigger spaces. I'm going to do a pink table or pink tablecloth, maybe. And so I'm going to make that a lighter pink, which means I need to mix. So I'm going to get, and again, I washed off my brush, dried off my brush. I'm going to get a scoop of white, put that over here next to my pink. I'm going to scoot some pink over, and I'm going to mix, mix, mix. I get a light pink that I like. And you can definitely do a different color. We're going to mix white and a color. So we're going to fill in all of our table color here. And you can definitely go to one of those smaller brushes if you need. 
and squeeze in these trickier spots. I'm not too worried if we get a little bit on the line or a little bit inside the line. That's okay. I'm gonna paint over it. And then we're painting around all the shapes, all our Fiesta classics over here. Our margarita, our chicken on a stick, and our fiesta metal. You can go over that little loop, that's okay. We're gonna put that in later. And you'll still be able to see all your lines underneath your paint. Just as long as you smooth it out, you'll still be able to see those little sharpie lines. I'm gonna fill in all that space. While I have that color on my brush, I'm also going to wrap it around and get the rest of those little side edges. And get all that bottom edge. Okay, so we have this little base layer on. Um, I'm going to give it a little bit more in depth and dimension by adding a bit of a shadow on the edge. I am going to switch brushes though. So I'm gonna switch down to my medium brush. I'm going to get a little bit of whichever color you use for the tablecloth, but without white. So I'm gonna do pink just by itself, the color just by itself. I'm getting some pink. And um, so to start out, we're just going to give it a little bit of a trace all the way around, kind of a, a thick trace. So like a nice, a nice little chunk of this color. Don't worry if it's kind of blending in, it's kind of smushing together. We want that to happen. That's a good thing. We're going to do that on purpose here in just a sec we're gonna blend it in I'm also going to add a little bit of this color for shadow underneath my glass. And underneath my 
my chicken? Let's let it look. It has a little shadow. A little loop to it. You can do a little bit underneath the, the metal piece if you want. Okay, so it's going to look a little weird now. We're going to soften it. Um, but I'm going to wash off my brush and I'm going to dry off my brush. So I washed and dried. I'm going to get a little bit of the pink. That light pink or that light color. Whichever color your tablecloth is. I'm bring this a little bit closer. And we're going to blend out um, this harsh edge right here. On all of them. So I'm going to place my brush half on the lighter color, half on the darker color. And I'm gonna go over the edge, back and forth. I'm gonna fuzz it together and soften it. I'm gonna go around, sweep at the edge until that harsh line is soft and blend it. You can kind of go over it as many times as you like to get a color or a kind of a, a smoothness that you like. Kind of going around in a curve around there. I'm gonna wipe off my brush from that extra dark pink, get a little fresh light pink, and do that all around. As you go along, you're going to kind of pick up a little of that dark pink, so keep scratching off your brush if that line just keeps going down further. A little fresh light pink. Sweep it along. Do that under here too. Okay, so we're going to let that dry for a little bit, um, and I'm going to keep using my medium brush, so I'm going to wash it off, and I'm going to dry it off, and let's mix up our margarita color. So I'm going to do this lighter color first, lighter color first, um, so that color is going to be a mixture of mostly yellow, and put that on the side, a little bit of green at a time. And then some white, like a good little scoop of white. So mostly yellow, a little bit of green, good scoop of white. fill this in for all of the top. You can go right over that line, just smooth out your paint and you'll still be able to see it. Paint them right up to the edge of the line. Don't worry too much on that edge, we're going to blend it out later. We're going to outline it later rather. Painting right up to this line, and then I'm also going to fill in this part. Mm 
Okay. So I have the slider color done. I'll bring that a little closer so you can see. So I traced over all those lines. Um, while I have this color on this brush, and you can definitely use your smallest brush for this part, um, but that little stem on the jalapeno is going to be the same color. So I'm just going to get that guy real quick. And you can definitely use that small brush. And then we're going to mix up this color. So I'm going to wash off my brush, dry it off. Now this color is going to be um, the green and yellow just without the white. So it'll be a little darker is our goal. But still kind of pretty liney. Kind of a liney greeny color. So yellow and green just without the white mixed in. And that's going to be the liquid color. Fill up your glass. And then while I have it on my brush, it's also going to be the base color on the lime. We're going to let these dry for a while, and then we're going to go in later with a darker green for all those lines on top. There we go. Okay, so let's let that dry for a little bit. We're going to come over here to our chicken, and we're going to fill that in. So I'm going to keep using my medium brush. I washed it off, I dried it off. Now this color, I'm looking for kind of like that color right in there, is going to be this dark yellow and a little bit of orange. Looking for a nice fried color. A little bit of orange. A little at a time. Right in there, kind of. And I'm gonna start out by just filling it in. Then we'll give it a little bit of texture. Okay, so we have we have a base. It looks pretty chickeny already. So we have a nice little base. I'm gonna add just a tiny bit of brown. A little goes a long way. It kind of takes over. Kind of scratch off a little bit extra. Add a little bit of brown to this light. Uh, this light color over here was yellow. And then, so right on top, I'm going to kind of tap a little texture on there. Let's start on one side. Don't need much paint on your brush. And if you get a little too much, just kind of like wipe a little off. You can always put a little bit more of that first chicken color right back on top if you need. Push it on. However you like. So while I'm working over here, I'm also going to fill in um, the jalapeno. So I'm going to mix up a little bit of a darker green. Same medium brush though, so I'm going to wash it off, dry it off. So to make my green a little bit of dark, a little bit darker, I'm going to add a little bit of blue to it. So I'm gonna get some green, and then I'm gonna borrow a little blue over here and mix together. Gonna get kind of like a 
this tealy green color. Move around to there. And I'm going to fill in the whole thing. So while that is still kind of wet paint, I am going to add this little bit of a shadow at the bottom of it. And so that's just going to be blue by itself. I did wash off my brush, I dried it off just in case. I'm going to get a little bit of blue, and it's going to be kind of same idea as we did for um, the edge of the table, which is the edge of our jalapeno. Be a little closer. Um, instead of a flat brush, I'm going to turn it and use the thinner side. Just sweep a little along the edge. Like that. I'm going to wipe off my brush, grab a little bit of the green, and I'm going to blend it out a little bit. It's not going to take much. It just makes it look a little more round. Later on, we'll put that little highlight of white on. You want to add a little bit more, definitely can, same thing. Little blue, wipe off the brush, a little bit of green, blend it in. So we are going to let that dry now, and let's fill in our Fiesta metal over here. I'm going to keep using my medium brush. If you need to switch down to your smaller brush, go for it. Um, but I'm going to do the top part first. So medium brush, I washed off, I dried off. I'm going to go in for some blue. I'm going to fill in this side. And then I'm also going to fill in the bottom part. I washed off my brush, I dried off my brush, and I'm going to fill in the other side with some purple. If you want it a lighter purple, you can also add a little bit of pink. It's a little lighter. And fill in this side. And fill in the top part. keep letting those dry a little bit and while I am letting those dry let's go back up over here to the sky and add some stars you can keep using your medium brush but I'm gonna turn it around and use the handle part the back part 
I'm going to go into some white. So I'm going to dip my brush into white and I'm going to dot on some little stars in the sky. As many as you like. Okay, so all the rest, I am going to switch over to my smallest little brush. I'm going to do some little outlines and some little details. Um, so over here by my margarita, I am going to put that edge there. So I'm going to use my smallest brush. I'm going to go into green just by itself. If you need to make it a little darker, you can add that um, kind of blue to it to make that darker color if you need. Take it nice and slow. I'm going to trace all the sharpie lines. And it's okay if it's kind of a thick line. Going around the edge. Gonna go over, go over and move the gloss. I'm also going to trace the little line, but then I'm also going to add the little texture inside of the line. So I'm going to kind of divide it up in sections, so I'm going to put a line right in the center, and then from this point, kind of divide that space in half. Here to here, that space in half, and then put an extra line in between all those. Put little ones if you can fit it, but don't have to. We're going to let that dry. Later on, we're going to put a little highlight there. So my next little step, I'm going to go over here to the little stick. And I'm going to mix that color up next. So I washed off my small brush, I dried it off. That's gonna be the dark yellow, but a little bit of white mixed in. So I'm gonna grab a little white. I'm gonna mix the dark yellow and some white. It's gonna make kind of like a nice light sandy color gold stick. And I'm just gonna fill that in. Mm -hmm. 
after we have the stick on there we can go around our chicken and add a little bit of an outline there as well i washed off my brush right off my brush i'm gonna go into some brown just by itself and i'm gonna give the edge a little trace all the way around be a super solid one you can kind of let it trail off at points it's a little softer and then if you want you could add some little peppers you can do a few little taps you can either do like the brushy part or you can do the back handle like we did for the stars if you want little peppers little fried bits Or if you like. I got a little closer and it's tough to see. So I added like little dots and just kind of tapped them on with the brush you said. If you want. Next little step, I'm gonna wash off my brush, dry off my brush, and I'm gonna add on that little ring that's going to be attaching the little fiesta metal together for this little guy right here and that one is going to be that dark yellow just by itself so I'm going to get a little of that dark yellow just by itself I'm going to trace this little ring on the back part it's going to go right up to the top but on this one it'll go in front of it. So bring that a little closer. So it'll go behind and kind of stop there, but the front of it will go on top of the purple. And if it's a little see-through, let it dry a little bit, and we can come back and add a little bit more paint on top. So I'm going to wash off my brush, dry off my brush while we're working over here in our Fiesta Metal. I'm going to go in for some white. So I'm going into some white here and I'm going to give it a little trace on the edge. Just watch out for your little ring. Going around. around the edges but I'm going to skip over that ring and then I'm going to fill in our logo here which is white And lastly, I'm going to add a couple little sweeps, little highlights underneath that line. Give it a little scratch. Not much paint on your brush. A little scratch there. One more along this little curve. A little scratch there. While I have the white paint on my brush, I can also add a few more little highlights. Let's go over here to our, our glass. So where our margarita is, again, underneath the outline, I'm going to sweep a little white, sweep a little white along the stem of that glass, along the bottom, underneath that line, underneath the top line, and in our line. Kind of in between, in between the dark green, kind of just scratching in there. And while we're working over here in our glass, we can add some salt to the rim. 
So I still have white paint and I'm going to do little taps. Tap, tap, tap. Leave a little space. Kind of encouraging a little bit of that green to kind of mix together with that white. That's a good thing. Going all the way. Little taps. Just have some little salt. And last little highlight that I'm gonna put, I'm gonna put a little bit on that jalapeno. So I'm going at the top and then a little on the step. So I'm gonna bring that a little bit closer just so you can see all those little spots. I added little sweeps of white. So I did a little bit on the jalapeno stem. Over here for our glass, I did a little bit on the edges here and on the top. I tapped on that little bit of salt on the line and then on the piece of metal there. So now we need some confetti. You can use whichever colors you have. I'm still using my small brush um, and I did wash it off, I dried it off. I'm gonna use that small brush. So you can do whichever colors. I'm gonna do maybe some orange and they're just short little, little lines, little, almost like little commas. And I kind of clustered them so they kind of fell in little piles. I'll do one color at a time. I'm doing different directions. And then I'm gonna get some pink and do some pink ones. It's okay if they overlap, it's okay if they touch. Confetti does that. Let's switch colors. I'm gonna add some green. Just using whatever I have on my plate. If any of these colors are a little too see-through, you can always add a little bit of white mixed in. That always helps. some purple. I am washing off my brush in between these or at least kind of just like wiping off a little of that extra paint before you switch colors so they won't smoosh together. And my last color I'm going to add is white. And it just makes all those colors sparkle a little bit. Gives it a nice little contrast. So our last, last little step is always our artist signature. Usually right hand corner is the artsy place to put it. I'm going to use that little brush. I'm going to find this spot. Um, I usually put my initials, but you can put your full name. You can write a date. 
I really like. Thank you again so much for painting with us today. Happy Fiesta! And we'll see you next time. Thanks everyone!